in our morning round. The eye-opening impact of digital devices. Nearly 60% of Americans are in front of some type of screen for five hours or more a day. 65% of us report symptoms of eye strain. Dr. Christopher Starr is an ophthalmologist at Weill Cornell Medical Center. Welcome back. Thank you. Thanks so for having me. What is staring at the screen doing to our eyes? Well, it's doing a lot of things, actually. Uh, we all sit in front of computers for, as you said, many hours a day. And uh, we do a few things when we're staring at the computer. One, we tend to blink less. So the typical blink rate is about 15 to 20 blinks per minute. When you're staring at a computer and you're focusing on this computer, we tend to blink, the blink rate decreases by about 50%. And when you're not blinking, the eyes tend to dry out. If tears evaporate and you get dry spots. That can cause fatigue, it can cause dryness, irritation, redness, tearing even as the day goes on. And it can also contribute to eye strain. So you've got the 20-20-20 rule. We have the 20-20. There are a lot of ways to prevent all of these things. 20-20-20 rule means every 20 minutes, take a break from your computer, look away from the computer at something that's 20 feet away or further for 20 seconds or more. And it actually is good advice also to, at, during those breaks to sort of stand up, stretch the arms, the legs, mm -hmm. uh, get the blood flowing. If your eyes are feeling really dry, put a lubricant in to lubricate the eyes. Uh -huh. And remember to blink and squeeze the are eyes. Are there any kind of special glasses you should wear? Uh, there, there are some special glasses uh, for people above 40. I'm one of those people when the near vision starts to go. Um, you know, focusing at this fixed distance, which is pretty close to your eyes for all those hours during the day. You can get computer glasses to help uh, alleviate some of that strain. Uh, also, uh, there's blue light that's emitted from computers, and some people think that uh, the blue light can cause uh, fatigue and strain, and then there might be some long-term damaging effects of blue light. So you can get yellow tinted glasses, which block some of that blue light. Do you so, think it does cause Well, it, damage? it's still kind of early. Uh, there is evidence that ultraviolet light uh, can cause damage to the retina, can cause cataracts. Uh, and interestingly, blue light, in, as far as frequency goes and energy, is not so far removed from ultraviolet light. So very possibly years and years and years mm -hmm. of excessive blue light might cause some damage. Something really does happen to your eye at 40. Honestly, yeah, yeah. my it, vision was one way. I swear to you, when I turned 40, it's called, all of a sudden I had to go like this. That, the arm ten, is not long enough sometimes. Uh, it's called presbyopia. It happens <laughs> to <laughs> everyone. That's where you get those little glasses. You, then you, the reading glasses <laughs> come in, and there are some other things surgically that can be done as well, but it happens to everybody. It's a fact of life. Yes, yeah. aging, but, it's a good thing. It's a great yeah, thing, right. isn't it? Yeah. yeah, good to be here. Thank aging you. Aging is a great thing? <laughs> wow. <laughs> It's all relative. Better than the alternative. Yeah, that's yeah. right. Better than the alternative. Yeah, exactly. Good that's to right. see you, Chris. Good to see you.